There was no deal making on the start. They're just going to let whoever's behind them push. And remember, Bowman in that 99 has been strong in this race. He can push that 22 to the front. Guys, that's as close as it gets. I mean, that's a four-car tandem. That usually doesn't work out good. No, it doesn't. You got Kurt Busch in the 11th, though. He can make it work. Pushed him clear of Logano and Bowman. Oh, now Kurt's got a backup to Allgaier there, third and fourth. To the white flag. Remember the location of the finish line at Talladega. So Kligerman is tucked in. He's not worried about pulling his car. Flag. He's going to burn the thing down, run right to the finish. I think Kligerman's in the seat right here to win this thing. Ten cars chasing after him in the draft. Final lap at Talladega. Who's going to get back here first? I like Kirk Busch's chances. I spoke way too early. Yeah, he's got the momentum right here with all guys. There they go. Oh, he side drafted as hard as he could. He split them up. Don't count Logano and Bowman out, though. Here they come. Here comes 20 and Vickers, 11 and Sadler up through the middle. Oh, Bowman trying to stay with Logano. Kurt Busch sliding up the track to block. Here comes Regan Smith to the outside. Logano moves to try and pick him up. Smith to the bottom. On Vickers, turn around. Who gets to the checkered flag? Here they come to the strike while they crash behind him. Unbelievable. Who won? Casey Kane, I think, is the winner. The winner of this race has just been called. It's Regan Smith in the seven. He was apparently ahead at the moment of caution. Oh, yeah, boy. And I'm telling you, he, uh, he got that win with some really, really aggressive driving, gutsy driving on his part. He didn't lift and push anyone. He pulled right down across the pack and drove to the front of this race.